Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Guitars, where we demo everyday gear for everyday guitars. Today we're going to be talking about the modern classic Bogner Shiva. First of all guys, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I love doing these videos. Hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video and especially this amp. I think it is absolutely amazing. Today I'm using my MJT Telecaster straight in to the Bogner Shiva. I'm gonna be using a couple of pedals. I'll put those up on the screen as I use them. Um, and let's just get uh, to talking about this thing. So the Bogner Shiva is uh, an absolute modern classic. It's one of those amps that you see everywhere all the time on touring rigs, in studios, and it's because it's great. This is an old uh, Silverback 2000, I'm gonna say three, four, five, something like that, pre-reverb unit, um, and I think it sounds fantastic. There's some misconceptions about the Shiva though. Uh, the first misconception, it's not a game monster. I'm not saying there isn't game, but it's not like, holy crap, super aggressive, tons of game, like rip your face off, go play a metal gig without a pedal kind of, kind of an amp. And I think that's a misconception with all Bogner amps, but specifically this one. It is very dark. For a martially voiced kind of amp, it's dark. Uh, way darker than I expected. I run the presence and treble both very high on this amp, um, and I think it particularly excels with greenbacks and vintage 30s, because that fizzy high-end thing from both those speakers really work great. Lastly, it's an absolutely amazing clean platform. Um, so far, I have loved running pedals into the slightly broken up kind of clean channel. I think it absolutely excels there. And I love it for uh, the gain stuff too. I think it sounds great, but I'm really, really impressed with the clean channel. I think it sounds absolutely fantastic. So let's get to some sounds because I think this amp has a ton uh, of really great sounds for it. Let's start off with some kind of clean sounds. I'm gonna use my middle position with uh, the coil split. <laughs> As you can hear, the cleans are absolutely beautiful. They're super jangly, which I just don't expect out of this amp, but it does, and it's really great. The best thing about this, though, is this sound that I have here right now, if I stop splitting the coils and go to my bridge pickup, it's gonna be ACDC in a box.
I think that's an absolutely fantastic crunch sound. I really, really like it. Let's move on to some more distorted sounds. I'm actually gonna throw a pedal in front of the uh, clean channel here. It's the Lila Drive from Music Box. In fact, I love these guys and they make great pedals. So let's hear what that sounds like. drive channel now I'm gonna leave the boost off for now uh, and we're gonna get some rock and roll sounds and it's gonna be great I'm really excited because this is some of my favorite sounds in the Shiva as well I'm gonna shut the pedal off so it's just the amp uh, here we go As you can hear, the gain is super compressed and tight. Um, the low end isn't as tight as you'd expect um, because once again, this isn't a gain monster. I think it sounds fantastic for those punk sounds though. The palm mutes are just top notch, chef's kiss, whatever you want to call it. I think it's great. The boost now, and uh, you can hear what that sounds like. I mean, it's pretty rock and roll. The boost really, really gets you some more gain out of the thing, which, I mean, the gain's high. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I think it sounds awesome. I'm really, really impressed with how well it handles all that gain, even though it clearly isn't meant for all that gain, if that makes sense. I'm gonna throw in a pedal now. We're gonna play some rock and roll and... Uh
that, um, as you can hear, I mean, it's classic. I mean, just plugging into it, it has a very recognizable sound. Kind of like a JCM 800 and like a Mesa Mark IV crossed almost, if that makes sense. I'm not an expert, I'm just saying what my ears sound like. And I think it's a really iconic sound that has been used on a bunch of records and a bunch of live shows, and I think it absolutely is deserved of its place as a modern classic. Uh, and it's just great. Um, and honestly, you can find older ones for between nine and like $1,200, which is mind boggling. Um, these are such great amps that I think uh, absolutely have uh, earned the reputation they have as great amps. Uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching. I really like doing these videos, especially these modern classic ones. I think they are kind of fun little, almost history videos a little bit, because I think these are such cool amps uh, and guitars and stuff. So hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, hit the bell notification. So hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, leave a comment down below, tell me what you thought about this video, and I'll talk to you later.